Well, um, to say the loss is devastating is an understatement. I don't think I've ever been associated with a loss like this. You know, we pretty much dominated the first half, and the concern was, you know, not having enough points on the board with how, how, you know, how well we dominated the game. And you knew that Eastern Washington uh, was a big play team, and uh, you know, you're just waiting for them to make a couple big plays. Uh, we had some opportunities to put the ball game away, and we didn't put the ball game away. And you know, shame on us for not putting the ball game away. Um, you know, they're they're a very good football team, and uh, like I said, it's a it's a tough, tough, tough way to lose, especially you know how you dominate the first half the way we did. Um, kids didn't let up. It wasn't anything like that. It's just that uh, they started making some plays downfield, and and that's what they do, and that's what that offense is about. And um, they got some momentum, and boy, momentum's tough. Tough to fight momentum, and and we just lost some momentum there. So. Questions? We have, uh, remember to identify yourself, please. Uh, Coach Andre Smith from the News Journal in uh, Wellington, Delaware. Is there a, a play or a, a series that you can identify that you really felt momentum shift? Well, it's just their first touchdown. You know, I, I felt the momentum, you know, I'd say the momentum shifted at that time, but you could just feel them starting to get some momentum. You know, obviously a big play was the, uh, the fourth down. We stopped them. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We stopped them. You know, the way the ball was spotted originally, no, it was a first down. But the chain was not on the 22. The chain was past the 22. And that's why as soon as they said the ball's put back on the 22, we knew we stopped them. And, you know, not game over, but, you know, game close to over. And um, then on the sideline, because it was my sideline, they had no idea where to the, where the, put the chains back from the previous play. They'd already moved the clip. They didn't know where the clip was supposed to go. And I tried to explain to them that if they go back and look at how close the spot was, and they're moving the ball back a significant distance, you know, I mean, they made the first down by this much, but they moved the ball back a whole a ball length. There's no way it could have been a first down. And that's disappointing. You know, we're in a championship ball game, and uh, we have a spot, you know, with three minutes left to go in the game that, you know, dictates who wins and loses. And usually I don't really complain about things like that, but that one hurt, and Roy really did. Uh, and, that's, and that's why I called timeout, because they, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't talk to me anymore. So I was like, okay, I'm going to call timeout, and I'm going to make you go back and look at this. And I don't know what the rule is, but I guess they, they couldn't go re overturn that, you know. But, but like I said, the, the, the chains were, were not on the 22. The chain was past the 22, closer to the 21. And when they said the ball's back on the 22, we knew we had to stop. But. Uh, Coach, uh, Kevin Mash from the UD Review. Uh, I was just wondering, uh, what was the official's explanation to you about the spot and uh, I guess where they put the chains to measure well, the second time? Well, you know, the, the review came back at that the ball was going to be put back to the 22. And as soon as we heard that, we knew we had to stop because we knew that the chains were past the 22. So they came over to the chain crew and the chain crew was confused. They didn't know where, the, you know, because they had moved the clip already. So they guessed. I mean, I was right there with them. They, well, I think it was on the 22. It wasn't on the 22. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that when you go back and look at the videotape, you'll see that the chain was past the 22-yard line, meaning that was not a first down. So, like I said, there was, and that's why I called time. I said, you know, see if there's any way that they can review from, the, from up top and, and tell you where the chains should be, because the chains were not put back at the right spot, in our opinion. So, 